Hey guys, Miss Warren here. Today I'm going to go over um, the mnemonic we're going to make to help us remember the elements of art. So let me share my screen real quick. So I'm going to scroll down to the elements of art document. So earlier before you should have gone over the Prezi that I posted or the video that I, I linked to me going over the Prezi. So here's the activity that we're going to do. So the elements of art, you should have these either written down somewhere or somewhere where you can remember them because this is going to come back. I'm going to be asking you to define the elements of art and I'm going to be asking you to list the elements of art. Okay, so to define the elements of art, they're the most basic parts of visual art or the most basic parts you use to create art. Both would be acceptable. Um, so to list the elements, we talk about line, shape, value, form, color, texture, and space. I have them in that order because that's more or less the order that we're going to be exploring them in in this class. Okay, so down here, I've created a new mnemonic. A mnemonic is a silly sentence that helps you remember something. So we have the first letter of each of the elements of art. We have L for line, S for shape, V for value, F for form, C for color, T for texture, and S for space. Okay, now I want you to create a silly sentence or a mnemonic like I've done here to help me remember those. See, it's still all the same letters. So my sentence is large sulking Vikings find comfort together sometimes. To sulk is to like pout. And so in my mind, that was pretty funny because some, someone giant and tough like sulking and pouting um, was amusing to me. Now you may use one of my words in your sentence. You may borrow one. A lot of students struggle with the V word. I would look up in the dictionary some V words to kind of help you out. Keep it school appropriate. The letters must stay in that order and your sentence must make sense. We're going to share these out. We're going to like our favorite ones. And if you're struggling in the discussion, I'm fine if y'all help each other out. But I kind of want us to get a bunch of funny sentences that will help us really remember these so they really stick in our brains. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to day two. So this down here is where we're gonna share them out. So these are just some reminders. Share the mnemonic you made that helps you remember the elements of art. Be sure to like and comment on your favorites. Remember, the, uh, remember each word in your sentence must start with a letter in the example. They must stay in that order. Your sentence must make sense and you can only borrow one of my words. So I put my sentence like this. If you do it strung out like that, that's fine. But just remember they have to go in this order. Lar L S V F C T S. Oh, one more thing. If you want to add a little word or an article or a conjunction like and, but, the, a, um, of, for, from, that would be acceptable, but I want you to limit how many of those that you use, uh, because I, if you get too many extra words in there, it's not going to help you remember the elements of art. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing yours, and I'll see y'all later.